Hey there YouTube, Air of Carthage here, and welcome to my Western Roman Empire. Some of you have been asking me how to do well on this campaign, and I'm not going to do the entire campaign, but I figured I'd give you some tips. I'm about five or six turns into the campaign, and as you can see, I'm already running a positive profit. As you can see here with my denarii, here's the ear. And let me explain what I did. The first thing I did was just pick a city, went through every single city, so I opened up this scroll, and I just used these arrows here to go through every single city and turn off the um, auto-manage um, in every city that I could. And it seems like I still have one city that's trying to recruit units. Let's see if I can find it. You just want to make sure the computer isn't recruiting any troops for you, because you really don't need any troops. You're not going to get attacked by very many people in the beginning, so it doesn't matter. All right, it doesn't look like we have any um, any situations where that's going on. Okay, so that was step one. Step two is to come in here into the faction scroll, and you put it on auto manage taxes only. And the reason you want to do that is because the computer can just quickly take care of the taxes. And so in your settlements that are on the verge of rioting, they'll lower the taxes, you know, and it'll raise the taxes for you in areas where you can afford it to get you the most income. You can manage that yourself if you want, but if you're looking for a simple way out, that's what I would do. And that's what I did, and it worked just fine. So for you who are always hammering on the auto manage, it worked absolutely fine right there. Nothing went wrong. Um, Carthage is very upset, but it's because we need to build an imperial palace. Um, this city is um, has grown, and we just can't afford. So I'm going to end one more turn. And uh, one one city did um, go to the Western Rebels. It was this city here, except I just quickly defeated them and took it back, exterminated the populace for a quick 13,000 denarii. All right, so like I said, let's go ahead and end this turn. Uh, Sarmatians want a ceasefire, sure. I mean, it's not like I have any money to be fighting right now. Saxons want trade rights. Give anybody trade rights who wants it, regardless of whether you're going to end up fighting them, because it's just extra income that you can use. Alright, now I know that my auto manage is spending money somewhere, because it's taking a little bit of money away from me each turn. I just can't seem to find the city that's doing it. So they shouldn't be spending any money. In any case, you can see that we're turning a profit, and another thing I did, I forgot to let you in on the last piece of my strategy, you have a whole bunch of cities who don't have a port, and you need a port, um, because that trade is going to really keep your empire alive. And so all I did was I went around to all the cities with whatever little money I could get in the beginning, and I built ports and a couple of churches in the cities that were slightly upset. And I swear that's the way you need to do it. It gets the job done. And now that I have um, a little bit of money, now Carthage is still really unhappy, but I just do not have um, enough denarii for the um, for the imperial palace yet, so they're just going to have to hang in there. Um, but again, uh, we want money right now. We want money and lots of it. So I'm going to go around to um, I'm going to build some sewers and cities while I have the money, and also uh, we're going to improve these core cities we have here and try and make them uh, more profitable. Build a ship right. Some of these buildings are pretty expensive, um, but it'll be worth it if we can uh, start to turn a profit. Let's see if, yeah, we see I can build a port here. That's another thing. So you want to build ports and traders and just get your trade income up as quick as possible and then let the auto manage take care of the uh, unrest that you're facing. Now, I was kind of expecting that settlement to turn against me, so that's no big deal there. That's just going to be more exterminated populace that, that's going to bring um, revenue to me. So you can see I am turning a profit still, which is good. And you you don't you just want to get out of the red as quick as you can. You probably are going to go um, into debt on this campaign in the first few turns. There's not a whole lot you can do about that. You need to just um, just live with it. I'm going to besiege this city here. Now I could hire mercenaries to help out, um, but in order to save money, I'll just send a uh, couple of Kamita Tenseis uh, down here to help reinforce those guys. This city's um, doing all right for now. Let's see if there's any buildings we can. Yeah, see, we can build a Christian chapel here, and we can also build a port. So I'm going to queue up both those, and that'll help improve that city greatly. And we lost Lepsis Magna down here, but that's okay. I'm not real worried about retaking it at the moment. Um, we'll be all right. Carthage is my main worry at the moment. So let's go ahead and end another turn. I'll kind of show you how we can just continue right along here. And um, eventually, as you start to build up your economy, you'll be able to. Um, train troops and sally forth and start to uh, expand your empire into the few places that you need to in order to win the campaign. Really all you have to do to win the campaign is to take um, Constantinople from the Eastern Romans. 
So let's see what buildings were completed. There's a construction report. We have another port and more sewers. You can see that my income um, is um, quite positive at this point. That's exactly what we want. Um, we're going to build another Christian shrine there. So that'll help improve that city further. Let's see if we can build anything in uh, Mediolanium here. We can build a port. We want that port. Like I said, everywhere we can get a port, we want the port. Um, because the port is going to bring us precious trade income that we uh, need very badly. So you can see that I'm building nothing but financial and um, and uh, buildings that take or increase public order. I'm not going to waste any money or time on military buildings right now. Let's go ahead and end another turn. Looks like the uh, Alemanni are going to attack me. Um, they have a very small force there, so nothing that I'm overly worried about. And the pirates keep attacking my navy. That's okay. I don't really need a navy right now. If they start to um, bungle up my trade routes, then you know I'll do something about it then. But I'm just really not that worried about it. Let's get the Alemanni off of our back here. We don't want them ruining our income in this city. So we're going to attack them. They've only brought 161 men, just some archers and night raiders. So we'll just auto-resolve that, and that gets them off of our case, and that's all we really need. Alright, and while we're here in this city, let's go ahead and improve it a little bit. Uh, build a couple of uh, little buildings here that'll help keep it happy. And there we go. Now we have a ship right in, in Tarantum, and our income is just going to continue to increase because of that. So let's take a look and see if there's any more cities we have where we can build a port. It looks like we have basic ports um, in all of our cities. That's good. That's what we want. Let's see if we can go to Cordoba here and build anything that'll... They see they need, um, they need a palace. Some of their buildings, though, have been damaged, so we can at least repair those before the next turn. Try and keep the, um, the rioting to a minimum. Again, pirates are attacking my navy. I don't care. They're not blockading my ports, and so it's not really causing me a loss of income. You can see I actually got quite a bit of income on that turn. That's perfect. That's what we want. So now we can build the uh, bigger palace there in Cordoba, and that'll help bring that city under control. Uh, let's see if there's anything we can build here. No, but we can repair the uh, repair the uh, governor's palace there. The city's a little bit unhappy. Build them a public baths. So you can see here, I'm just kind of following at this point um, which cities are unhappy. And you might want to just attack your enemies right off, like the Alemanni here. We could attack them. The problem is, is you got to remember on Barbarian Invasion, that whenever you destroy a civilization, they like go into a horde, basically. And I mean, it means it quite literally. So when you destroy their last city, it gives them like tons of these horde troops. And so you need to be in a position where you're ready to fend off. Um, that kind of problem, and so I really don't want to destroy the Alemanni um, until I have the opportunity to uh, face them with a, a more threatening army. Okay, um, let's end another turn. Like I said, this is just going to be, um, I, I don't have the time to do a whole bunch of campaigns on Rome Total War anymore. I've, I've done tons of episodes of the Carthage campaign, I've showed you how to get started on the Greek campaign. Um, I've given you general campaign advice, I've done the Alexander campaign, and I'm going to just do some of these short videos where I just introduce you to the beginning of the campaigns and tell you how to get started, because I really don't want to do any more full campaigns on Rome Total War, uh, not any time in the near future at least. Um, so what I want to do is I really want to do a, an Empire Total War campaign, since I've never finished one on Empire, and I'm considering Poland on there, they seem pretty interesting. So for those of you who are interested in that, uh, be ready. And I also want to free up plenty of my time to do a good Shogun Total War campaign uh, whenever that game comes out. So I just want to be able to, to hit the ground rolling on Shogun. It's kind of my hope there. So we're going to build a Christian church and an aqueduct in this town because that town's starting to become unhappy already, even though they've already ha had their populace exterminated once. I'm going to send these troops over here to help aid, and uh, it looks like these Alemanni are going to be a bunch of pests. Let's see what they brought this time. Some war dogs, in addition to their standard little pathetic army. And like I said, you just want to keep beating them off. You don't want to let them um, besiege your city, because that's just wasted money. 
In fact, I can busy the Alamani by just, um... I'll go ahead and attack their city here, but I want to be careful not to turn them into a horde. Um, because, I mean, they're going to get a crap load of troops if I do. Let's go ahead and end another turn here. Looks like Cordoba revolted. That's unfortunate. I thought I had that under control. So we'll have to do what we can to pull Cordoba back in. But you're gonna, you're probably gonna lose some cities um, as far as early on in the uh, Western Roman campaign. So that's nothing that should be um, overly concerning to you. Well, it looks like my my general betrayed me because I don't have any um, I don't have any troops there to retake the city with. So I'm gonna use these troops here. Now, of course, Carthago, uh, Carthago Nova is none too happy right now. So we might lose uh, Carthago Nova in the process as well. We definitely don't want it on auto manage. We'll repair those buildings from where the people ride it, and hopefully that'll help settle the populace down a little. We can recruit um, some troops to help garrison the city there. To end another turn. Okay, we're just gonna besiege the Alamanni here, and uh, that'll just kind of keep them busy. And they're going to come right out and fight me. And they have a pretty goodly number of troops here and a couple of barbarian um, warlords. So, I mean, these guys are going to be pretty tough, but I should be able so to actually easily lost win this that battle against the Alemanni. Um, their chosen warlords just wiped out, like, all of my committed Tensei's units and my general, even while they had archer fire in the back. But that's the nature of a chosen warlord. So I'm going to exterminate this uh, populace where we took that city back. So that'll give us a little bit of extra spending money here. So we're going to, of course, build a port and a sewer to immediately, and a trader, to try and get this, um, to get this city up to par as far as making money and being profitable. So let's see, we're the strongest faction, which surprises me because I don't really seem all that strong right now. But we are, um, as you can see, uh, slowly improving our situation. This city right here needs a port. They don't have one. But they also need a governor's palace, so we're going to line up a few buildings there now that we have some cash. And that'll make sure that that city stays um, well within our control. You can see Ravina is now turning a profit. That's good. Tarentum is turning a profit. Uh, that's exactly what we want to see. Looks like Salona's still a little bit upset. Let's see if there's anything we can build here. And we can. Uh, we'll build the large temple of Sol Invictus there, which is the sun god. Of course, spending any money there might be stupid as there's a gigantic Vandal army on the way. And fighting off that Vandal army would be difficult at best. Yeah, not sure I'm going to be able to fend off the uh, the Vandals. Let's see. Of course, if I move my army from Rome over there, I probably could, because the Kamita Tenseis would be strong enough to do the job. I'm going to try and get rid of these uh, rebels that are in the province here with Rome. Just a bunch of stupid peasants. Um, see, there we go. So they are now gone. Let's take these uh, troops back here into the city. Let's retrain them, and um, what we'll do... Here we go. We'll just get all of them retrained that we can retrain. And eventually we'll use this army to retake Salona if the enemies take it. Not sure exactly what's going to happen there, whether the Vandals will attack me or not. They probably will, though. Looks like Carthage is calming down. I should have built the Imperial, Imperial Palace here while I had a chance, but I didn't. So we'll, we'll build another building that'll help make them happy in the meantime. Here's our troops that we're going to send to retake uh, Cordoba. Of course, you can see that Carthago Nova is rioting in the process, but... Um, we should be able to get that under control. If we lose it, then we'll just take it back, too. Let's go ahead and end this turn and see where we end up. Yep, Carthago Nova turned over there. That's okay. It's just going to be, like I said, another city where we can exterminate the populace and um, get some cash back out of it. And it looks like the uh, rebels sent their troops off to, to try and help Cordoba. So we're going to... Um, Ah, oh, dang it, I did not mean to click that. Crap. That, uh, lost us some precious time there. That's unfortunate. This is good, though. I mean, we're making we're making good progress here. Let's see if there's any... Yeah, 
uh, we can recruit some of these mercenary troops. It'll take a lot of my money, but I'll just uh, get rid of them as soon as I'm done with them. This will help make sure that we can defeat the uh, the Western Romans over here in Hispania. Or the Western Roman rebels, I should say. I am the Western Romans. Let's see if there's any buildings we can build in this city to make them happier. There is. Thus we will do so. I don't know why this city is already riding again. They were just exterminated not too long ago. You'd think they would have learned their lesson, and they would probably would not be so unhappy if they would quit destroying the very buildings that help keep them happy. Yeah, the Vandals are attacking Salona. And there's absolutely nothing that I'm going to do about it for now. We might actually wait and um, see if the Vandals take the city and like actually settle it. Because they can just raid it, basically. It looks like they're going to settle the city. That's good. That means that a bunch of their forces are going to be disbanded. Um, whenever they settle that city, so it'll actually get rid of some of their armies, and then I'll just retake it from them at my leisure. Looks like they plundered Salona. Got some more ports coming into play here. We need to retake these cities in Hispania. I wonder what kind of army the... Uh, it looks like they have a bunch of peasants here in their army, so let's see if we can have a confrontation and uh, try and get rid of these... Uh, two armies here, so we can take that city. Yeah, that army is all peasants and one like militia spearman. And this one's got some crappy infantry and some peasants and a general. So I think I can actually win this. 